Oh, got him. It got me stone cold. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's the man. Yeah. What's going on? Cameras on cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be back in Texas, bro. All right, y'all. Welcome back. We are getting out with Pawn Boys for the first time in quite some time. He's been out of town, out of state. Where have you been? North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida, and uh, and now he's back here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna try and get on some fish. It's been a while. It's like in the 40s right now. Um, I get an Instagram alerts. Just trust me on that. It's in the 40s. So we're hoping to even get a nibble this morning because us Texans, not just us Texans, but the fish in Texas, they get a little chilly. They sometimes act up and don't want to bite. But we're going to rig up a few things, talk to you guys about what we got going on this morning, where we're fishing, what we're doing more when we actually hit the spot. We'll see you in a second. I'm like, are you sure you got through here? It's been a while since I've done a bank fishing mission with like five combos, but we're just gonna take a handful this morning. I think Torrance is gonna do the same. We got tackle boxes loaded up. You know, lately we've been out on the boat, the hot tamale, or we've been taking the kayaks quite a bit. We've been out of town, we've been doing all kinds of stuff, so we are just doing a laid back golf course fishing sesh. Let's go. <laughs> all right, y'all, we made it. We're fishing the creek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's see what she's got to offer. Dude, the water looks way higher, and there's no trees. What? This place looks totally different really? from last time I fished it. You couldn't even see that other pond. It was so thick to get back and fish that other pond. What? Do they have spruce this place up? Nothing on the drop shot in the first five minutes. <sighs> we were trying to sneak in. That's just the closest parking. <laughs> like, we were going to be here anyways. Y'all, we're going to switch pawns on you. We're making a move up the hill real quick to a spot that used to be almost off limits pretty much. And uh, now it's looking wide open. I'm going back to the drop shot since we haven't caught anything on uh, moving baits yet or even like a Texas rig. So I'm just going to go full finesse right now. See if I can't get at least a little fishy on the bank for y'all. Second pond, first cast. Real clear water. All right, let's see what we got here. Hit him with the beef jerky. Just a little bait fish looking to get eaten. Yeah. Ooh, thought I had one. Dude, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> like, T and I are mixing things up. And look, if you want to talk about fishing when it's cold, especially in clear water, and you can't get a bite on a drop shot and a jerk bait, please, somebody tell me what is going on. I think they took all the fish out of here. I'm confused. I got no hits on the drop shot. And, and I haven't been showing you guys this off camera, of course, because the thing is it's super boring, but I've been letting this jerk bait sit for like 10 to 20 seconds just suspending before I pop it. Now that I'm talking, I, I'm kind of more active with it. You know, you gotta show a little action, but I've been chilling on this jerk bait and the fishies ain't having it. So I'm gonna keep throwing it. I think this is still the way to go, but I'm, I'm literally in shock. Overcast skies, man, it's looking good. The visibility is like nothing you've ever seen over here in Texas. I mean, it's clear, it's clear. So junior scout, little profile. I'm not even throwing the full size and I can't get a sniff. I don't know why I'm not just making Instagram reels right now. But I got one thing right. Let me walk around with just this jerk bait for a second. Got him. There we go. First one. Little guy. All right, we're in business now. There is fish in this pond. And they want a slow moving bait, tell you that much. Junior scout for the wind when it's cold. Right here in this corner underneath the tree, we might be onto something. I'll get another cast over there real quick. Yeah guys, I mean, just think about as these water temps get colder, these bass are gonna be moving a little bit slower. They are not gonna be enticed to just chase, all, chase a little jerk bait all the way across this pond in the summertime when everything's warmer and they're very active, or I should just say more active. You can still find some insanely hot bites during the colder days, but definitely start working this thing a little bit slower. You want to give it that handful of pops and you want to let it just chill. Pop these jerk baits on slack line. That way you really get that erratic motion instead of without some slack. After I make those pops, I like to reel on the slack a little bit. That way I can feel if a fish hits it on the pause, which is very frequent, you're not going to get it oftentimes as you're working the bait, unless it is like summertime, you're working it fast and those fish are really just chasing it. The jerk bait is really meant to give those pauses and that is when they get smashed. So 
slower can be the key. Let's see if there's one more hanging out under these trees right here. So I literally, I kind of leaned over, cast it as close to those branches as I could, and I almost wanted to work under those branches. So I walked it over a little bit and started working it. God, this scout is so sick. It just sits there, man. It just suspends. It barely rises at all. So you can really leave your bait in the strike zone for a long time. I've got it on, uh, I think 12 pound fluoro. If, if not, this might be 15 on the Scorpion. Actually, I just put this reel on here because I knew I was going to be casting out some lighter bait. So I wanted that DC breaking of the uh, Scorpion. And then also I'm rocking the Twitch Rod. This is the uh, Guggen Gold Series Twitch Rod. So perfect for treble hook, perfect for jerk baits. It's literally almost made for jerk baits. It's the shortest rod that I have anything rigged up on six nine medium moderate and so what that means is a lot of times with these jerk baits you're wanting to have that rod tip pointed towards the water and pop it down low get that twitch in motion and so that is why a little bit shorter of a rod is actually beneficial when you're working the jerk baits and exactly why this guy is not like seven foot six right here so that is the gear Let's see if we can get on another fish or two Yep, number two, a little bigger. All right, there we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. This one's a two plus. All right, jerk bait pulling through, boys. Yeah, wow. I haven't caught some uh, numbers on a jerk bait in a long time, so this is pretty fun, man. A year round bait. You guys can get away with this thing. Spring, summer, fall, winter, it really don't matter. But how is this thing hooked is what I'm wondering. There we go. Solid ice cold fish, man. He doesn't even want to move anymore. We getting on him this morning though. It's feeling good. Let's get a quick little Instagram release on number two. I think I was filming for this guy. Jerk bait. I was talking about how I haven't had a numbers day on a jerk bait in a long time. He's cruising. No! Biggest one, dude. That was like a three pounder. Right by the brush where he's supposed to be. No! Oh my gosh. I see two bass. I see two bass. Two big ones. Roman. He's looking. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. They're on it. He ate it. Oh, he, he went away. Two bass. Oh my god, there's like four bass. Oh my god. There was like five three pounders that were in a pack in a school by that tree. And they're just all about this for like the first two casts. One bit it and like he didn't get a hook and he turned away. <laughs> and then they were not into it. But dude, five big fish. No fishing out here. Okay, we'll get out of here. Uh, yeah, of course. On to spot number two then. Where did it go? Loading up. Y'all, we just rolled up to spot number two and it's looking good. This is number two, right? Yes, sir. We kind of drove around. We went to Chick-fil-A, you know, <laughs> looked at a few other ponds that said, do not fish. And now we've wound up at one that uh, Torrance actually brought me over to his neighborhood, man. This one says catch and release only, private property, fishing for residents and accompanied guests only. So I'm his accompanied guest for the day. We're going to see if we can get on something over here at spot number two. Let's go ahead and get the baits out the car. A lot of reeds. It's looking real Texas riggy. I'm just going to rock and roll with the jerkbait again for a minute, actually, because got to get the Guggen Gold rod some screen time, see if we can't hit something on the uh, jerkbait at spot number two. Bye-bye to the Junior Scout. Done tour. Clean off on a tree pounder. Tree pounder. <laughs> Y'all come out to McKinney, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Land of the Giants. All right, y'all. This pond is rather large. But there's another area of the bank we want to hit so we are cruising into the neighborhood to hit another area of it it has started raining and stopped raining since we started fishing today lost the jerk bait the one productive bait that has got me and torrance all of our fish so i think i'm gonna just do something different and i'm gonna go with the bullshad swim bait and see if we can't get a lunker so i'm gonna go ahead and get over here to the spot and we'll catch up with you in a second grass is thick where's my fluke Got him. There we go. 
bull shad, baby. <laughs> that's that's on the six inch bull shad right there. Oh, break out that never before seen. That's what we're talking about. That didn't take long at all either. They are on the move and bite, it seems. And this could be interesting. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. All right, I'll give you just a second. Hold tight. Where's the pliers? Mm -hmm. All right, that is a cold bass, and yet he is still going after it on the move, man. Those reaction bites. Look at that. Whoo! By the way, this guy is actually available at Carl's Bait and Tackle now. I think at the moment it might be sold out. Everyone is buying these things up for the holidays, but if you want to get these things for the cheapest price possible, Carl's Club member, man, check out Carl's Bait and Tackle. It's linked in the description as always. That's where Devin and I get the majority of our tackle and save 30% on just about everything these days. Dang, skiing. Now that I got my confidence up in the fact that they will hit the bull shad today, do not be surprised if we get a five pounder because this thing will absolutely attract the bigs. This thing is 2.8 ounce, almost a three ounce bait. So we're throwing it on the St. Croix Mojo Bass swim bait rod. I believe this is a two to four ounces is what it's rated for. Oh, one to four ounce baits, perfect. It's a 710 heavy, fast swim bait rod. So perfect for this application right here, long handle, really dishing this thing out to these bass as far out in the pond as possible. We've got the Tranks 201 HG, just meaning high gear ratio, 200 spool size. The 201 or the odd number means it's left-handed versus like the standard 200, which would be right-handed. And then we've got the DRT 110 millimeter varial handles on this bad boy with some thicker working class zero knobs. That is the setup, man. This is probably like my current favorite just because of this uh, DRT outfit. Just like customizing the ride, man, putting some wheels on it, lowering it. Same thing with the reels. Get a little JDM action on here. Absolutely sick. Let's try and get some more. I was just burning it, burning it, quick pause, burning it, quick pause because I'm seeing it's very shallow, really far out. So these bass are not gonna miss this thing cruising by. And it's just a pure reaction strike. He just came in for the kill last second. That was epic. I don't have time to be reeling this thing slower. I was just getting grass on the treble hooks uh, every other cast. And so I'm reeling it real quick. And when I do a pause, sometimes I'm even hitting it with a quick whip. And then it really has some erratic motion on that fast pause. I don't pause it for long, but if something's like tailing it coming up right behind it and then you give it that whip, then that just initiates that uh, predatorial instinct these bass have, and they will definitely hit it on that quick pause. So I'm just trying to keep this thing moving. There's definitely plenty of opportunity to get stuck on a stump out here and lose this $50, $60 bait, depending on where you're to buy it, right? So uh, hopefully we get lucky in that aspect, but let's go ahead and just keep walking the bank and see if we can't get something a little bit bigger than that two-pounder right there. Got him. There we go. This one might be bigger, maybe. I think we got some right here, Torrance. All right. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. There's this healthy three and a half. Maybe, maybe more. Oh, sharp teeth. God dang, they feel like treble hooks by themselves. Look at that three pound piggy. Oh my gosh, a fat bass. And he was absolutely feeding up for winter time. Check him out, December. What is good? Bryce! Swim baits out, baby. Let's go ahead and get this big Bertha back in the water. Come on, bud. We shall see you next time. What up, dude? They uh, started biting the swim baits, so. Can you believe I've never thrown one of these until like just the last video I put out, if I even put that one out before this? Like, this is crazy. Been needing one of these forever. It's almost got like chicken wire, it looks like, as, as like the topper under the paint. It's crazy. This is, uh, I believe, Threadfin Shad, but there's also Gizzard Shad. I got one of each, I'm thinking. Uh, they really looked identical, but yeah, one's supposed to be Threadfin, one's supposed to be Gizzard Shad, six inch. Uh, I'm not sure what hooks are on it, to be honest. The tail's kind of like a paintbrush type of deal, pretty slick, folds down. That way those bass go in for the kill and, and don't have to worry about uh, eating this whole tail if that was all one solid piece, so that's nice. They are ranted and raved about for years, so. Glad we finally got one to showcase on the channel for y'all. And they're catching bigs. Even today, I didn't think this was gonna hit at all because we've been throwing only jerk baits and long pauses. And so when I busted this out, I was like, all right, we'll see what happens. But that that whole side seems like a flat. So you can't really miss them with this thing. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna be right by them. So that's the advantage. Yeah, I got two of these. This is like the, this is actually the larger size. It doesn't, it doesn't seem that crazy after throwing a bunch of swim baits lately.
Oh God, got him. Come on up, baby. <laughs> Working it so slow. <laughs> I was just thinking, I'm like way too high, so it's like nose is up looking dumb not working right and then boom <laughs> that's three on the bullshit dude what's going on out here like right now it's pretty much all about the instagram reels it's really the only thing that's helping you grow for me like and i've you know you know me i'm testing and trying stuff so right now instagram's trying to compete with tiktok and like take them out of the game so their tiktok thing is reels is like what they're pushing like you open up the instagram app and now the reels icons like bottom middle and here I am getting stuck with a $60 bait. Don't cost me a lot of money, please. Luckily, we got a seven foot, 10 inch rod. Mother trebles. What is happening? Gotta be kidding. Is this a joke? 20 pound fluoro. I ain't come here to play games. Sounded like, oh, sounded like you lost that. Let me reach this thing. Oh my God, Oh, dude. <laughs> I just told you you're in the line of fire. Oh, Bryce almost got hit by a golf ball just now. Here you go. Check this out, though. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I mean, that's that thing's been great for the jerk bait. So, and it and the shortness is like perfect. All right. Yeah. You want to throw this for a second? This the Stratic. Bryce and I just swapped. Man, I'm on the TFO rods right now. Tactical Elite Bass. This is a, a 610 top water moderate. Uh, but what we're using it for is a drop shot because we know how to catch fish, baby. We don't care out here. Yep, 75 pound braid. That's exactly what you want to rig up your drop shots with. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and out here in Texas, we don't throw a light line, you know, finesse, requires some heavy. Oh, this is the DC. Oh, this is the one. Good thing I brought the boots today. There's quite a bit of the lineup that Shimano has that's actually more expensive than that one. They've got some real expensive spinning ones, but that seems to be like the, the gold standard, the go-to. You were right. <laughs> the pigs are out. <laughs> it's been a minute, y'all, but we got another one on the bull shad, and he is active. Another one meets the bull. That's what I'm talking about. Yeehaw, cowboy. See you, bud. I'm liking this side. Do, 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 do. Okay, we oh, we'll... just died. Okay, no worries. Yeah, we'll get out of here. The whole, the whole golf course is private property. Okay, okay gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This might be the first video I've been kicked out of two spots in one day. Dude, we're setting records on the channel. Yes. 